morning, guys. Uh, so I um, I wanted to get your opinion on this copper situation because I really don't know what's going on with this, and I'm hoping that if I put something out there to you guys, you could help me figure it out because it's been driving me nuts. But as just a, an order of business, I had um, I had promised that I would do an Olight video. Some of you guys have seen that there's, uh, it's like Olight prepper season right now. Um, and that's because Olight is having their uh, 15th anniversary sale. And basically what they do is they send us a bunch of free flashlights for us to review and put them out there for you guys to buy. And we do it because we really like Olight flashlights. No, they're not assembled here in the United States, but like all other flashlights, they're made in China and they're assembled in China. But uh, when they have these Olight deals, you have the opportunity of getting what I think are great quality flashlights for like 40, 50% off. And we get a ton of flashlights for mentioning their sale. Um, actually, I, I have to apologize again to Olight because they sent me this flashlight, what was it, last January, completely missed out on the sale. Um, things came up. I couldn't get the review done. Um, but this is the Olight Seeker 3. And um, please excuse the chickens. It's a, uh, it's a spring morning. The birds and the chickens are going nuts this morning. But I have personally decided that the day that I wake up and don't hear the sound of a rooster is the day I've stopped living. These, uh, these Olight Seekers are great. They have a little indicator on the side. You can see how much battery they have. You can see how bright you have it on in case you can't tell from the brightness of the light. This is a flashlight that I have replaced as our favorite home flashlight. We keep it in the drawer. Everybody that does chores walks out and, and, and uses this light. All of these lights have different purposes and different uses. This one has a very wide throw, so you can see a lot of things. It makes kids feel comfortable doing their chores at night. Sometimes we make them do it in the dark just for the fun of it. This is one they just sent me that's brand new. It's called the uh, the Swivel. And uh, what, what's nice about this light is uh, it's got a flashlight style on the top. It's got a work light and it has magnets on the bottom so you can stick it to your truck or whatever it is you're working on. And it's got that magnet. And I guess they call it the swivel because this part swivels. It's a nice light. Um, my youngest thinks it's a robot. In the past, you've seen me do a lot of these tactical lights. I love their tactical lights. They actually, last year, we we, uh, we did a review on this one, which goes on the front of a pistol. We've got uh, the Olight Odin GLM. This is great for those of you who have AR-15s. Um, both of these have built-in lasers, and I think that they're, they're very nice quality, very nice lights. Probably my favorite Olight of all time is this headlamp. Just used it last night putting our ducks up. This is a, another new one they sent me, the, uh, the, the Olight Warrior 3. And it has the indicator light, kind of like the Seeker, but the Warriors have a longer distance throw. And this one has a great throw on it. I took it out um, when I was doing some chores the other night. And, you know, unlike the Warrior, the Warrior 3, um, it, it doesn't have quite as far a throw as the original Warrior but it's got a pretty nice throw compared to like the Warrior 2 or some of the other ones. And I like the fact that it has that indicator light on there again, because I can see how well the battery's charged on the right side. I can see how bright it is on the left side because I, I can't tell when I'm looking at it with the flashlight because it's just that bright. Um, but this is a, a, a really nice light. I haven't decided on whether or not it's going to take the place of my favorite light. My favorite EDC is still the Olight i5 TOS. Um, and my wife has one. They sent me this one last year. I gave it to her because this is a really pretty light. She's a really pretty lady. So um, she got this one. But 
it's the same thing. This one has a rechargeable battery. I did a video on this last year. You could um, you could actually order the batteries that go into this one if you have the older model. Put that rechargeable battery in there and it'll make this a lot brighter than, than your typical AA. My favorite all-time flashlight, by the way, is the the Mini 2. I told you about the EDC that I carry in my pocket, but the Mini 2, this flashlight, the size of it is just perfect. Um, I carry it with me when I'm hiking. I throw it in my backpack. I keep it next to my bedside table. It, I, I just like the size and the feel of this light. It has, uh, you know, kind of a wider throw, but it's also kind of got that long throw to it. So it's a very nice little flashlight that's that's easy to take around with you obviously you know it's not going to fit in your pocket like one of these but um i use this for everything and you can stick it in your mouth if you have to to do something it's not too big order of business done i've gone through the new o lights and and told you about the sale and definitely take advantage of the sale only with my link though don't use anybody else's my link gets you the best deal at the Olight sale guaranteed you get a free gift too it's a keychain flashlight i put one on my daughter's keychain very bright little light awesome little light i want her to be safe walking out to her car at night uh, and i also put one on a keychain to a new vehicle i haven't told you guys about yet and i don't know what to do with those keys so i can't show you right now but i do like those keychain lights they're very durable very dependable um they're i mean it's a free gift Anyway, let me get back to the copper situation. Because I don't understand this. This is something that um, has been bugging me now for about a week. So Olight sent me my favorite flashlight, the Warrior 2, in copper. And I pulled this thing out of the box and I thought, wow, that thing is pretty. And my second thought was, wow, that thing is bright. If I'm carrying this in the woods, somebody's going to see me from a mile away. I better go pee on that. And you're probably thinking, Charlie, don't pee on it because then you can't put it in your mouth. But copper does have microbial, uh, antimicrobial properties. So that's a good thing. But I can't figure out why in the world you would want a copper flashlight. It does, it's copper, I guess, you know, with these high powered flashlights, which Olight does make some pretty high powered stuff. Um, it does actually dissipate the heat a little bit into your hand. So maybe, you know, it will take some of that heat that is putting off at the end and, and warm up your hands during the winter time. I don't know. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out why somebody would want a copper flashlight, but they seem to be a hot thing. They seem to be a hot item. A lot of people have these copper flashlights and they pay a lot of money to have a flashlight that's made in copper. Um, to me, I would think that as the copper tarnishes, it's, it's going to look pretty cool. I think it could look like a pretty cool flashlight. You don't have to pee on it to get it there. You could put some lemon juice on it and it'll get that nice tarnished effect. But uh, it's going to tarnish in your hands over time anyway. I've heard a lot of people talk about how nice they are when you shine them up and, and they're easy to clean and polish. But I really, from, from my perspective, I don't know why I would want something this shiny out in the woods. I will say that when I compare this to my favorite um, Olight Warrior Mini 2, it's heavier. It feels pretty nice in my hands. I, I mean, I like that. And, and it is definitely a lot more attractive you know, and I, I probably look a lot smarter with the copper one over the black one because the copper one has properties that I do not know of that are that make it better. It makes me more intelligent to have a copper flashlight. Copper is, um, you know, if the world goes to pot, we get hit with an EMP, the flashlight is destroyed. You still have a useful metal. Uh, and, and it definitely, like I said, it, the weight of it is really nice. It feels really good in the hands. I didn't mention this before, but um, when you put it on the high power and you put your hand in front of it, it actually lowers the power down and then raises it when you move your hand away. That's the, they've got a little motion sensor right in there. I didn't have it on when I just did that demonstration. Olight makes these in copper. They make a lot of flashlights in copper. I can't figure out why anybody would want a copper flashlight. It's beyond my comprehension because I don't know what all of the benefits are of copper. And I can't find a good forum online to tell me why I have to have a copper flashlight other than the fact that they're really pretty and they make me look smarter. So if you could, please enlighten me down below. Tell me why I have to have 
a copper flashlight. I'm grateful for the copper flashlight. I think it's a very nice flashlight. Like I said, they, they chose my favorite flashlight to give it to me in copper. I feel like I have earned a medal of some sort by getting a copper flashlight. It's way too nice for me. I destroy the things that I use and it's way too pretty for me. I gave this flashlight to my wife because she, she's pretty and smart and so I feel like it's, it's reflective of her. <laughs> I can't, I, I really don't know. I don't know why, why people pay extra for the copper. It, and, and I'm sure there are good reasons for it. I'm sure there are reasons beyond its. Enlighten me, please, because I, I, I can't do these reviews if I don't understand the importance of why the warriors should come in copper. In any case, stay tuned guys. There's a lot of weird stuff going on out there today. Um, I've been doing some research this morning on a video that I wanna put out this week on the food situation. It is a lot worse than you guys possibly think. We're looking at um, extreme shortages in the next six months. And the, the confusing thing about all of this is that it seems to be coming at a time of a series of unfortunate events. And you lay all this stuff out and you actually look at it, uh, it's time to get your tinfoil caps out. That video will be coming out this week and uh, you know, hopefully by then I'll have enlightened myself a little bit on the, on, the, on the need to have copper flashlights. So stay tuned, as you can tell, we've been very busy on our channel this year, but we've also uh, been trying to match that with our homestead in and of itself. We are expanding our food production to the most we ever have. And our goal right now is this year to get ourselves 100% uh, able to just eat off of our own property. So I'll be doing some videos on that as well. In the meantime, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the morning birds and roosters. Well, they still have heads. Talking about you.